Finally, there is amplitude distortion. When a system gets overdriven and the amplitude of the waves get clipped, it's peak clipping. So we spoke about a linear system. You have that straight line on the left. With an in a linear system, what goes in is the same as what comes out. Nothing is distorted. So either it gets amplified over a consistent amount or it gets attenuated its consistent amount, but the peaks stay the same. There's no distortion. There's no clipping. Now on the right side, I have a nonlinear system, and you can see by the tags in that blue line. But in figure D, the input was not peak clipped, it was not distorted because it fit into the system. The system wasn't overdriven. So in all of these figures, we have an output that matches the input. Let's say you were to raise the volume of what you sent in. And now we have an input that doesn't fit into the nonlinear system. So what happens? If you look at the figure, its tops are clipped off. Its tops are kind of like cut with a scissor. So there's not a proportional increase from what went in to what went out. And there's nonlinear distortion. There's amplitude distortion. And the output does not match the input. So this is amplitude distortion. The system is overloaded or overdriving, and it just it's, it doesn't work. So this is our last type of distortion, amplitude distortion. When the output doesn't match the input, when it gets clipped, it can't fit. And you get distortion. So if you could see, if you compare it to A to B, you have even worse distortion in B compared to A. The peaks are even more clipped off in figure B than in A. And it's called peak clipping. So only the center portions of the waveform are unaffected when there is peak clipping. The signal is distorted. It's called amplitude distortion, and the waveform of the system has been overdriven. So we have nonlinear distortion and amplitude distortion, which means the same thing.